Hi, my name is Peter and I want to talk a bit about context awareness in Simon. Since Simon 0.4, Simon has a dedicated context layer. That means that it can react to certain changes in its environment. And it does that generally to improve the recognition accuracy. For example, you can see the list of scenarios on the left. You will notice that I have changed it a little bit from the last videos, if you have seen those, to make this more apparent. You can see that not all scenarios are printed in the same way, particularly the last two are printed in italics. And this is because these two scenarios are currently not active. This is because their associated context conditions are not met. For example, uh, I have started Mozilla Firefox and if I bring this to the front, you will notice that the Firefox control command scenario is now no longer printed in italics and we have seen a small blue pop-up on the bottom of the screen telling us that Simon has reinitialized the recognition. That's because the Firefox control command scenario is bound to the currently active window being part of Mozilla Firefox. So as soon as I switch to the Firefox window, this scenario reports to be active. Let's switch back to Simon and look at the Firefox control command scenario. This is now being printed in italics and the list control, which monitors for Simon being the currently active window, is now active. Going back to Firefox, it is the other way around. The reason for deactivating certain scenarios when they are not needed is recognition accuracy. Speech recognition generally works best when the vocabulary is as small as possible. So by deactivating certain commands when they are not needed, the recognition rate improves. If you develop your own scenarios, you can find more information on context level scenario conditions in the Simon documentation. But that's not the only option of using the context layer. There are in fact two others. One of those is the sample group conditions. Again for this, as this is a very particular uh, feature, you can find information in the documentation. I don't want to talk about this in this video. But I do want to talk about the third one, which is context-aware recognition devices. For this, let's open the device configuration. For every device, you can see that there's an advanced configuration button. If you open this, and let's just make this a little bit bigger, um, you can see that every device has a couple of advanced configuration options. One of these is this activation requirements section here. If you've used Simon in the past, you might have noticed that we had a problem with false positives. Especially in noisy environments, Simon would keep recognizing commands even though none are being said. Since Simon 0.4, you can deactivate input devices, i.e. microphones, when they are not needed through context conditions. You can add activation requirements to the selected input device by clicking Add here. As you can see, there are multiple types of activation conditions. For example, there is the active window condition, which we've seen before. Uh, this was the one that's being used to deactivate the Firefox scenario when the currently active window title is not something with Firefox in it. Then we have the deepest condition, which can be used to establish low-level connections to other applications. The face detection condition, about which I want to talk a bit more in a minute. The file content condition, which can monitor files for certain content. A lip detection uh, condition, again something I want to talk a bit about in a second. And the process open condition, which monitors currently running processes and an OR condition association to combine multiple conditions into one, whereas the combined condition is, is then satisfied when one of its child conditions is satisfied. Getting back to the face detection condition. The face detection condition actually allows to um, turn Simon into a multimodal speech recognition system that also uses the user's webcam. In practice, this means that Simon will deactivate the input device 
if the user is not looking at the webcam associated with this condition. So, for example, if you have a webcam built into your notebook, then Simon will only listen for commands if you're sitting in front of this notebook. As you can also set up more than one input device and associate different face detection conditions, you can also build a system with multiple microphones in, for example, different locations, each with a webcam, and pick the active microphone by watching where the user is visually. For most users, however, this is probably most useful as a way to deactivate Simon when you're not sitting in front of your notebook. I mentioned earlier we also have a lip detection condition. This is a bit experimental at this stage, but the idea is to visually recognize when your lips are moving and to only listen for commands when you're not only sitting in front of your computer, but also speaking. But as this doesn't work perfectly at the moment, let's go back to the face detection condition. Let's select this. It's the same idea as before. If the condition is written in italics, that means it's not satisfied. So right now, I'm obviously not sitting in front of my notebook, which is correct. Let's look at how this changes if I move in front of the notebook screen. I hope you can still hear me. I'm a little bit away from the microphone now, but you can see that um, the condition is now satisfied. If I move away, it will turn into italics again. Let's keep this recognition uh, activation requirement and see how this affects the recognition. Let's activate Simon. And I can now start speaking because I'm not in front of the notebook, nothing will happen. So I can give commands like start browser. And as you can see, the volume is correct. Uh, Simon is actually doing something, but it won't start any commands. So let's now move back in front of the, of the webcam and see what happens then. Start browser. And going back. As you can see, the commands work when I'm in front of the webcam and don't when I'm not in front of the webcam. As I mentioned earlier, you can find more information about Simon's context system and the different context conditions in Simon's documentation.